Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Salim Masood, and uh, today in um, association with Bonaire Healthcare, we want to discuss uh, mm -hmm. asthma. Uh, what is asthma? Asthma is um, a chronic, is a heterogeneous disease, it's not a homogeneous disease. Uh, it's a heterogeneous disease that uh, is basically characterized by chronic airway inflammation. What age group is generally affected by asthma? So all age groups are affected by asthma. Asthma is a chronic disease. So what that means is you may start with it from childhood and uh, you end up with it in the adulthood or even in uh, very old, old years. So it's, 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 a, it's a disease that cuts across all ages. Uh, but the question is most, most of the what age group do you get to see onset of asthma? So for majority of patients, uh, you see them at an earlier age, uh, either in a pediatric age or uh, any age before the age of 40. But uh, still you have some few people who have asthma coming out for the first time when they are above 40 in the 60s and 50s, what we call adult onset asthma. So essentially, asthma affects all ages. And uh, even those who had asthma from childhood, they will still be having asthma in their adulthood because it's a, it's a chronic disease. It starts and never ends. How does asthma come about? Uh, so asthma uh, is uh, essentially a familial disease. It has some genetic uh, component. And uh, so it runs in families. and. Uh, uh, and then um, in the right environmental, uh, in, I mean, in the right environment, then it, uh, it manifests itself. So uh, people may have it in the family, they may have it in the genes, but uh, without maybe it has not reached a point where it, uh, it comes out because the environment may not be conducive for the asthma to come about. But uh, for some other people in the right environment and uh, maybe cumulative environmental factors over time, then what are the predisposing factors for asthma? So uh, first and foremost, family history is, uh, is, is a very important factor. So if you have the uh, genes for asthma, then that's, uh, that will put you at a risk of uh, asthma. For It's very unlikely for somebody who they don't have genetic uh, component or they don't have genetic factors for asthma that they may develop asthma. And then the other thing is the environment. Uh, the environment, uh, there are many other hypotheses uh, regarding <coughs> how asthma come about. For example, exposure to, uh, I mean, your environment as a childhood. The cleaner the environment, the more, uh, the more chances that uh, you, you'll get asthma in, in future. Uh, what you call hygiene hypothesis. So people who have been not so hygienic environment, uh, not so clean environment, they tend to have protection against uh, asthma. Uh, yes, so I uh, want to thank you for listening to these uh, sessions with Bonaire Healthcare. And uh, if uh, there's any more inquiries, any more information necessary, we can always uh, provide. You can book uh, our clinic or our services uh, through Ponea Healthcare Platform, and uh, then we can connect and uh, discuss more. We are looking forward to, be, to more sessions like this one, uh, and trying to educate patients and uh, inform them of uh, uh, what is available in terms of respiratory health uh, care. Thank you very much and have a good day.